you're from the UK, you know what I'm talking about. You'll all have had many, many a pair of blue socks in your life. I should have actually got more hoodies for him because they're just so practical. And he likes them too. He prefers them to jumpers. Hi there. This evening I have a clothing haul for you. I have a lot of little um, crinkly packages and a lot of different fabrics. So there'll be a lot of fabric sounds, rambling and crinkly packages. So basically I did an Asda George uh, shop, which is basically the clothing line from Asda, which is like the supermarket or one of the big supermarkets in the UK. And I really like their kids clothes mostly, um, but I also like their shoes because um, in France it's difficult to get uh, nice women's shoes my size. <laughs> I am a tall girl and I have a size uh, 42, so 8, uh, which is quite above average for um, French women in general. So I like to get my shoes from the UK often from George um, and I like the dresses too just because they have like really simple um, simple stuff so I like um, I like their I like floral dresses sometimes but mostly I like George for the kids clothes I've been buying George stuff for my daughter since she was born and the son the same so I have first things to show you that I got for me. A dress and a pair of shoes. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and then for my daughter, I have two pairs of shoes and three, three or four clothing items. And then the rest is for my son. It's pretty much his entire uh, winter wardrobe. Minus the shoes and minus the jacket. I have a lot of things to show you this evening. So hopefully it will be a very long, relaxing, sleepy, crinkly video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, just a little side note. Yes, I do have very beautiful nails, if you noticed already. <laughs> they are Harry Potter themed, hand painted uh, press-ons and they are gorgeous. Um, I did an unboxing of them, uh, I think a week ago or something. Um, I'll link that down below and also the, um, the Instagram uh, of the girl who made them for me. So yeah, pressed by Jess. Amazing. Okay, so let's start with my As per usual, I got a kind of floaty floral dress. <laughs> it's basically my entire style is floaty floral dresses. And this one has really long, like, balloon sleeves. I don't know if you can really see that. Look at that. They're huge. Um, and the front is like, that's the back, hold on. 
Anyway, I'll put an image of the dress here because you can't obviously see everything at once in this shot. So it has a kind of V at the front with some ruffles, but it's very subtle. But it has a kind of like very high neck with a little bit of ruffle going on too. And then it comes down to, I don't remember how the waist is, but I think it's probably like empire or just below and it's like kind of a short dress so I would wear this with uh, leggings if it's very cold um, with a big like fluffy cardigan like this one for example or like just a black card and then um, if I want it to look nice I'll wear it with some like black tights and boots Definitely right spot on my style. Even the colors, so pretty. And it's very autumnal, um, but it could also be spring, couldn't it? I think black based floral dresses can kind of basically be worn at any time of the year. Just depends what you put. It's cool because it's got a lot of like warm tones, so I could put like some like light brown, like knee length boots, and then like a little um, a little brown bag it would look pretty cool too. So, yeah, it's a very light. fabric that I have definitely felt often, let me see, a hundred percent viscose. So very classy. So I'm really happy with it. I tried it on and it is just perfect and comfortable and like good for layering and just like just slide into my wardrobe and just like already be home, you know? And look, it looks nice even with my big oversized cardi. The sound of this fabric is not, maybe not the nicest sound. It sounds a little um, synthetic. Well, it is kind of synthetic. It's not cotton or anything. So it doesn't have the best fabric sound, I would say. They're still nice, but not the best. Okay, so that was the only clothing item that I got for myself. Let's have a look at my new shoes. Here are my shoes out of the packaging. Um, my mic wasn't turned on for a little part of what I did before. I don't know how long it's been off, but I'm really sorry. Um, don't worry, all the other crinkly packages will be heard. So basically, um, as you can see, they are a knit, like basically the entire shoe, apart from the sole. Um, it's like a khaki dark green knit. I just got it like in a basic color, so I will go with everything, you know. And around the foothold, I guess, um, we have some like sparkly thread. Just a cute detail. They're actually a little large. I was hoping that they were going to be like quite tight to the foot because I have kind of skinny feet. I have long skinny feet, like you can tell by my hands, same with my hands. Because I'm quite tall, I'm like 5'9", um, so size 8 feet is quite like proportional for me. Um, but on 
unfortunately, often the shoes that are made in this size are just like a little wide for me. Um, so yeah, which is why I tend to wear um, sandals in the summer and boots in the winter because trainers are not really my thing, but I do like trainers. There are some brands that are fine, but you know. So we have just like a very white sole, which is not going to stay white for long. These are going to be my throw on shoes, so like outdoor slippers. So they won't be taken care of like a lot. <laughs> but yeah. So these are the shoes that I got. I'm pretty happy with them. They're just a little large, like a little wide, but honestly, they were only 10 pounds, so it's cool. I'm happy with that. Definitely worth it. So I'm gonna move on to my daughter's stuff now, and I'm gonna stick with the shoe theme. And unfortunately, while my mic was uh, not on, <laughs> Well, not recording, I already removed the plastic, so already right into the shoes. Um, so she is a UK size one slash two, um, and she's a Euro size 33 slash 34, so she's in middle of sizes at the moment. So, oh, machine washable, that's cool. So they were 11 pounds from George. Um, and I just got them for her as basically the same, like, throw-on shoes. Um, she has already a whole bunch of, like, she's got some, like, Doc Martin type shoes for the, when it's raining. She has, uh, walking shoes for when we go out, like, hill walking and stuff. She's got basic trainers. She's got, um, nice little ankle boots. But she doesn't have just, like, throw on um, shoes. I don't know. I just thought it would be nice for her just to have a plain black pair. Um, the quality seems a little low. I guess for the price it's it's fine. Like the detail finishing like the plastic and stuff is a little a little off but and they're very light. But honestly they're pretty good for the price, and I think she's gonna like them just because they're just plain black and, you know, they look a little more sporty than the ones that she has. They're kind of like that whole knit style like mine, so she'll be happy to have shoes that are like I don't think, yeah, she actually has a, a lace to lace up, so it's not fully like slip-on, but I think she'll be able to use them as slip-ons. So yeah, so that's the first pair of shoes that I got for her, which I sized up in. And these next ones that I got her, I got her actual size, like the size that she is right now. Um, and these bring back mega memories for me. Um, these are plimsolls. <laughs> Anybody from the UK knows what I'm talking about. They're like your school shoes. Like, it's, this is like crazy nostalgia for me. This isn't a thing in France. I don't know if it is in other countries, but this is not a thing. Um, so, they're only three pounds. <laughs> and basically, um, when you go to school in the UK, the inside of the school is kind of, like the floors can be carpeted and, or, you know, they can be all different kind of floors. Like in France, your floor is not going to be carpeted in a school. Um, and you have indoor shoes just for school, like for 
for PE and also for like class. So they're called plimsolls and they are basically the same for everyone. And you get them from like school supply stores or like supermarkets, etc. Um, I'm just gonna cut these out. Or maybe I should use more crinkles to make up for the lost crinkles in the other shoes. you're from the UK, you know what I'm talking about. You'll all have had many, many a pair of blue socks in your life. And if you're from France, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. School children in, um, Friends, like primary school children don't even have a uniform or like any rules about how they dress or anything. Okay, so here are a little pair of pencils. <laughs> this is so like um, nostalgic for me. My pencils were always black. Um, but my daughter loves blue, so I got her a pair of blue ones. So, George School Machine Washable Non-Marking Sole. That was always important because sometimes your black blim soles would make marks on the gym floor. Um, but these are non-marking ones, so that's cool. And basically, so you don't, um, oh, it even says it here, non-marking sole. So basically, you don't wear your outdoor shoes inside the school, and it keeps everything clean. Yeah. It's like having slippers at school. These actually have more detail than my ones did. Look, there's a little star here. But yeah, they have a kind of a toe cap. And then, you can get them that are like velcro, like these ones, but you can also get ones that just have like a little um, elastic strap. And they're like more open. But yeah, so I got these because my daughter um, does, um, like, her PE time is kind of like, she needs indoor trainer support. I thought it would be cute for her to have little British pencils for her PE class. <laughs> like, you even have a little bit under here to write your name in your class. <laughs> Since everybody's wearing pretty much the same ones. Oh, these are so sweet. I don't know what my daughter's gonna think about them. Maybe she's gonna think they're not. But she's very interested in um, like other schools, like in the UK and stuff. Um, she asked me to get her a school uniform um, from the UK, but um, obviously, she, like I can't buy her an actual school uniform from an actual school because they're specific to the the people that like the children that go to that school. But in uh, in the George on the George website, they have a school section, so I got her a few things, like these plimsolls, for example. I'll show you what else. I got her a pack of two adjustable waist permanent pleat skirts. And they are Teflon, well, Teflon Equalize. Renewably sourced finish. So basically, these are going to be like Teflon skirts. Durable with permanent pleats. <laughs> so, yeah, as a school child, I wore this kind of skirt to school with plimsolls and usually tights in the winter and socks in the summer with a white shirt and my school tie and then 
you can have like your school sweatshirt and jogging bottoms and then you can have a school jumper like a grey jumper to go over um, your your shirt or you, like I was really in to have like a little uh, sleeveless waistcoat kind of thing uh, with your shirt it was the kind of late 90s obviously your skirt had to be a certain length and you know that sort of thing but yeah it's actually no not late 90s in my primary school it was like early 90s but like my um, when I was old gonna enjoy putting together her little outfits. She likes to do that. She likes to get her clothes and put them on the floor and make little outfits and then just put them away as outfits. And then she's got her week's supply of clothes. Okay, I got her also a school hoodie which is from the school section, but it's not really, like, from a specific, like, specific school or anything. Cotton rich, six pounds, as you can see. Amazing value, six pounds. And it's just a plain black hoodie with some scrunchy sleeves and a scrunchy So it'll just be simple to just kind of put on with whatever. I love a good hoodie. It's just perfect to throw on with anything, you know. It's perfect to just like transition, you know, between summer and winter. When it's autumn or spring, it's good to have layers, and hoodies are perfect for that. You know, you can like put a hoodie on with like a jean jacket over top, or a little rain jacket. So yeah, a little black hoodie, which will go with everything. And then the last thing I got her is kind of to go with the skirt. And it is a big five pack of black tights. Black George Super Soft Cotton Ridge tights for nine pounds. Improved quality. Size nine. these every winter, well every autumn really. There's usually only like one left by the time we get to the next year. Others have like got holes in them. myself and for my daughter. Now on to my son's winter wardrobe. So I don't have these in any particular order. I'm just kind of going to take everything out one by one. And the first thing is this pack of ankle socks. How cute are they? <laughs> Cotton rich ankle socks. Five pairs for three and they are size 9 to 12. Um, I don't know euro sizes for that. Is it 
say, yeah, 27 to 30. And my son is size 25, so these are too big for him for now. But he already has quite a lot of socks. But some of the socks that he has are starting to get a little tight on his little ankles. So I thought getting a bigger, like larger size would be helpful. He may not be able to wear them straight away, but I don't think it'll be long until he will. So yeah, they are just simple color with stars on them. I think you'll like that. And they'll go nicely. Wait till you see the the tops and the trousers and stuff, I got him, the color scheme kind of all goes together. Especially the yellow. I really love my son in mustard yellow. I don't know why. I think it's so pretty. Pretty's not a good word for that. I think it's very handsome. It's cute. Okay. The next thing out of the bag is this pack of pajamas. So three pack for 13 pounds, which is a pretty good deal. I think it came to about 20 euros because they add the tax um, in France now. They didn't used to um, because kids clothes are not taxed in the UK, which is why they've got like such a good price. Um, but they recently added Thirteen pounds transforms into twenty euros, but uh, it's still a pretty good deal compared to the prices here. So, as you can see, I just got a very simple three-pack kids' pajamas set, and you can kind of mix and match all three together. Very similar color scheme. All the same like size and fit and they're just like long sleeved long legged just like cozy little pajamas you know cotton and i usually get a few sets of these they're like every year and they're just perfect This um, did not come in a plastic bag. It's one of like the only things that didn't. My dress didn't. Um, and the socks didn't. But apart from that. So I just got him a very plain hoodie. Um, it's a slightly different uh, style than his sister's. It's like a, it's like a proper... Um, like sweatshirt sleeve, you know, and sweatshirt bottom. It's not like a ruched one like hers. Hers is like a more feminine one, I guess. And I got it in this kind of neutral, nude, kind of light brown color. Because I thought it'd be like, it would go really nice with like the bold colors that I got in the other um, pieces. I should have actually got more hoodies for him because they're just so practical. And he likes them too. He prefers them to jumpers. I can understand why. So yeah. Three to four years. They're super soft actually. Doesn't say anything about the material. No. But it's super soft.
see almost like a teddy, you know. So now we are on to the long sleeve tops, the ones I'm pretty excited about. Very, very crinkly. So you can see kind of the color theme going through it. It's like bold colors, everything is stripes. Um, and if you can see these socks. Kind of like in the same color scheme, so it's cool. Everything's gonna go together, it's gonna be so cute. And if all his clothes match, then it's gonna be easier to like put an outfit together when you're like trying to rush in the morning and stuff. So I'm trying to go for a good play. matched. Why do I have such a problem with that scene? Is it mixed matched? Anyway, it's not important. So, yeah, they've got little pockets here, which he is gonna love at the moment. He is like pocket obsessed. He will put his hands in his pocket, he'll put little biscuits in his pocket, he'll put playmobiles in his pocket. simpler. It's a plain, like, nice bright blue with a pocket, but the detail in, like, the striped detail is just on the sleeve. Just like two stripes, two white stripes. Just there. It's really cute. And then this one, mustard yellow. And all of these lovely, lovely, lovely white and mustard stripes going all the way down. But I like the fact that the pocket is excluded. And then there's this black line. Is it black or is it blue? It's blue. Of course it's blue. It's blue. There's no black in any of these t-shirts. So yeah, this one is really cute. Okay, and the last one, oh, that's so cute too, is a red and white striped long sleeve with a navy blue pocket and collar. So yeah, this one is cool because it's kind of, you know, it gives a kind of French vibe. So it's cool. Okay, so 
with all of those stripy tops. Very cliched French, actually, now I think about it. Um, we have some... Oh no, I have one more thing before the trousers. I have this cute little sleeveless vest. It's three pounds and it was from the school section. Again in three to four years. Eight pounds for two pairs. are looking bright red in the camera. I don't know if it's actually going to be bright red in the video, but they're actually kind of almost burgundy. Quite dark. Dark red. Like wine red. Yeah. So these will just be like a basic
I wonder how that'll that'll fit. I think that's probably like for him to be able to like you know just like move naturally and just like bend his knees. A little extra knee room. We all need some knee bending room <laughs> when we're playing in a playground. Okay. It's a little muddled, but we're going back to hoodies. So these are a little different. They're not zip up. hoodies again with the mustard yellow loving that color for him so gamer academy legendary status <laughs> it doesn't really matter what's written on it it looks like a college hoodie you know like a uh, an american college hoodie you know i just like the the kind of college writing I think the mustard one, the yellow one, is just plain, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's just a plain yellow. Beautiful, beautiful mustard yellow. I love it. It's gonna look so cute with those, um, like burgundy trousers. Still has his uh, mustard yellow shark rain jacket. It still fits him, so my little mustard boy. It's funny because he's starting to have little preferences for what he wears. Well, he says no sometimes. <laughs> and he'll be like, no, not that. And 
he can tell me if he's like, no, it's too small. <laughs> he says, uh, trop petit, trop petit. <laughs> it's cute. Okay. So, the second last. design on the front is a little raccoon and like his little nose is a little pom-pom <laughs> I think he's really gonna like this because in one of the books that we read him at night well, that we look at the pictures he doesn't really have the patience to wait for us to read the entire thing you know, like the page um, it's about a mama bear and a, like a baby bear and he says it's me and him and in one of the pages, there's a little raccoon in the corner watching the bear's fish. And I always point out the raccoon. You can't say raccoon yet, but uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out so you can see the other side. The jumper. So you might be surprised to see that the bottom half is green. <laughs> so yeah. So the bottom half is green. And then you have this little raccoon where we have its tail here. It's so soft. Oh, the tail is so soft. Yeah, and then he's kind of popping. And the back is just the light grey and then again on the sleeve we have a kind of like a colour block deal kind of like at the same height as the green so it's pretty cool I don't know why they send the hangers I feel like it's a waste of money, a waste of hangers, and also like it must cost them more to ship if they leave the hangers on. I don't know. Maybe they should like put an option on the website. Do you want your hangers or not? I would actually really enjoy saying no to that. So there we go. It's a fluffy tail. And his little pom pom nose. no reason that he can't wear leggings. Now that, like, when I saw them, I was like, oh, that would be so practical. He'd be so cozy and comfy and, you know. And I just thought, why haven't I thought about that before? It just, it seems like something that boys don't have. Leggings, you know. And like, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys have sons? Do you put them in leggings? Or is that like a thing? I don't know. 
Well, that obviously is a thing because they're selling them, but you know what I mean? Is it a popular thing that I've just completely ignored until now? So here are the leggings. So they're just plain leggings and they kind of come in that whole color scheme of the other clothes that I bought them. They're kind of like off red here. Navy blue, light blue, and again mustard yellow. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, they're super soft, really comfy looking, and just like so why would I not put my son in leggings? My daughter like lived in leggings at that age and she was just so comfy and just like running around and playing and stuff so yeah why did I never think of this before? he's gonna be so so comfy <laughs> and his leggings are gonna match his sent uh, three beautiful jumpers as well. Unfortunately, I had already bought these before she told me she was going to send some jumpers. But it's fine. He'll have extra jumpers. He's going to be cute. So, I hope I hope.